You are watching Market Watch, the brief overview of the key events from the world of finance. Today we will talk about why novice traders and investors do not always correctly assess the situation and may even say that the market is playing against them. Let's take a look at the US labor market report published on Friday. It recorded an unexpected increase in unemployment, which was also accompanied by a general decrease in the number of jobs created. Quite simply, these data indicated a deterioration in the situation in the US economy, which should be accompanied by a decline in key stock indices and an increase in government bond yields. However, everything happened exactly the opposite. And we are not talking about collusion or mass psychosis of the world's largest investors, everything is extremely simple. At any given time, the market is focused on an event and all other fundamental factors are taken into account according to how they affect that event. To date, the entire focus is on the key interest rate of the Federal Reserve, and therefore all published reports are considered from the position of influencing the Fed's decision. Therefore, the deterioration of the labor market situation, which increases the likelihood of a reduction in the key interest rate, supported the stock market and moderate pressure on US government bonds. Nevertheless, for the development of a bullish scenario and the next update of the highs, additional confirmation of the Fed's willingness to lower the rate this year is needed. Despite the moderate optimism in the stock market, demand for oil remains moderate due to the prospect of changes in physical supply and demand. The slowdown in the world's largest economy, which is also the largest consumer of oil, is a bearish fundamental factor. The absence of a significant deterioration in the situation in the Middle East also deters buyers. However, the general increase in interest in risk prevents further decline in oil prices. That is why the price of the American grade of WTI oil is stuck near $78 per barrel. By tradition, we are completing the review by the cryptocurrency market, which has received another negative signal from the United States. The Securities and Exchange Commission has issued a warning against Robinhood, or rather a division providing services for trading and storing cryptocurrencies. This is another bearish signal for the cryptocurrency market, as regulators continue to put pressure on companies providing services in the United States. As a result, the interest of professional investors in this market is declining, calling into question Bitcoin's ability to resume growth. That's all I have. Follow the news carefully and be prepared for all the surprises of the market.